hey guys uh, welcome back to hw sports 90 still talking about euro uh, i think we are in the last games of the group stages and um i'm going to talk about england uh i know spain portugal uh, have qualified so far and germany uh, the host have also qualified and uh, <clears throat> uh, some big teams like uh, france uh, netherlands england italy uh they are still yet to qualify but they are there they are one foot into the round of 16 but it is not over until it's over so do you think england can, can qualify to the round of 16 yes i think they can qualify because they have like they have a 90 percent chance if not 99 but 90 percent chance of qualifying to the round of 16 because they are up against slovenia uh, a team which they've not uh lost against uh, the unbeaten um uh, in all competition that is uh the euro champ the world cup and also um friend, uh, friendly matches they are unbeaten against slovenia and uh i don't think at this moment which they have a good squad they can lose to slovenia but anything is possible in football that's why i say they have 90 percent chance of qualifying to the next round that is the round of 16. so why am i saying this because England, they are in Group C with uh, England, uh, with uh, Slovenia, Denmark, and Serbia. As you all know, England won their first match against Serbia, 1-0. Goal was scored by Jude Bellingham. At the second game, uh, they drew 1-1 with uh, Denmark. Goal was scored by Harry Kane in a game which uh, they did not play uh, to what people expected. Uh, and I think uh, they were criticized a lot following that draw against uh, Denmark. Uh, people talked. Uh, people talked a lot about uh, the tactics and uh, squad selection of uh, manager Gareth Southgate, and this uh, he has come under scrutiny. Uh, if he is the right man, uh, or uh, when if this is the right man to lead England to greatness, or um, he's not. And many fans, England fans, be precise, have argued over the social media that Southgate does not or is not the right man for the job so what do you think you think uh Gary Southgate is the right man for England for me I want to say because uh prior to this euro uh, the, the, the preparations uh when I, I looked at the England squad I was terrified as a like uh, if I was uh, Germany Spain you know France uh like if I, if I was Denmark Slovenia and Serbia we're in the same group with England, and I look at the players. I see Jude Bellingham, I see Kopama, I see uh, Bukayo uh, you know Phil Foden, Harry Kane, uh, Declan Rice. All these players having a great season. Remember, uh, Cole Palmer had a great season uh, with with with, uh, with Chelsea. Uh, Jude Bellingham had a wonderful season with Real Madrid. Harry Kane have a he had a great season, a personal great season with uh, Ben Munich, even though they didn't win any trophy, but he scored goals in the top scorer in the Bundesliga. Uh, um, Phil Foden, player of the year in the Premier League. So, when, when I looked at, at, the, at the squad, I said, no, England are the favourites to win the Euros. I think they were the favourites. Uh, if you look at the, at, the, at the odds prior to this uh, uh, Euro. So, but all have been surprised because England have not turned up yet. Because uh, so far, they've only scored two goals. Two goals in two matches. One against Serbia, one against Denmark. So, where could the problem be with England? Could it be that the manager is not, uh, that the, the tactics manager is using and with the play players new or are used to a different or the players are they ignoring the manager's tactics or instructions this is something we should look into but at the moment it's not clicking for england and because uh, looking at their first and their second game i think they've they've not uh, played at the standard we expect england to play at uh, been below expectation for me i could give them give them a d a grade of d because uh if you play against denmark or serbia should be winning four nil you know the game against serbia they 
I think they were lucky to win because uh, Serbia had chances, but uh, they were unlucky to score a goal. But uh, Denmark, they managed to score a goal, but they could as well uh, won the game. So if Serbia were little, were little in the attack, and also Denmark were little in the attack, I think England could be sitting bottom in the group with zero points, zero goals scored. But uh, luckily, they were, I think uh, they were in a, an average group. That, that, that's why they managed to be f uh, first with four points. Uh, Denmark a second with second points, two points. That is, Slovenia third with two points. Serbia are uh, fourth with one point. So, Denmark, England, Slovenia, and Serbia. All of these four teams can still qualify for the round of 16 uh, of this year's Euro. Why am I saying this? It's because England, they're first with four points. Serbia, they are fourth with one point. So the difference between the first and four and fourth is only three points. That is just a game. So if so, there's, there's scenarios. England only need a point, and they will qualify the round of sixteen. They only need, they only need a point for them to qualify for the round of sixteen. That is if they win the win against Slovenia, or that do a draw or drew against Slovenia. Denmark, for them to qualify, um, they, they, they need England to win against Slovenia. They've qualified. And for them to avoid a defeat against Serbia, then Serbia, rather Denmark have qualified. And uh, yeah, so, uh, but uh, for, Slovenia, for Slovenia to qualify, they need at least one point against uh, Denmark, against England, hoping that that Serbia or Denmark can draw. And they had, uh, or rather their goal difference between Slovenia, between them and Denmark should be higher. And that means they, be, they will qualify. But uh, Serbia, they need to win against Denmark. They need to win against Denmark, hoping that England can win against Slovenia so those are the scenarios but for me I think England uh, since they're unbeaten against Slovenia I don't think Slovenia can uh, are capable to pose any threat uh, to England so I think England they will qualify but this only if uh, Southgate gets its, it right this time I mean it's good selection uh, yeah you need to get it right this this, this. I think you need to make a bit of changes you know the first game they played terrible and uh he didn't want to change the the first 11. i wanted to try it again against denmark and it almost failed so i don't think they should risk, risk it again against Serbia. i think there need to be changes uh they know in defense that's okay in defense i think that's okay uh, walker gehi stones and uh trippier with big for the goal i think it's been brilliant and uh, one, of the, one of the reasons England are first with four points in these Euros. Uh, if not them, England could be third or even, or, or even fourth. So where they need to be a change is that midfield. I'll suggest you either play uh, uh, Rice as a lone midfielder. Play uh, Rice as a lone midfielder. Yeah, if you want to play him there, play Rice as a lone midfielder. And then play two uh midfield two attacking midfielders that is phil foden on the right and Jude bellingham on the left side of the pitch yeah then you have uh you are attacking three attacking three consisting of um gordon or eze hurricane and Bukai osaka those are four three three stop this four two three one because four two three one uh, with uh, Rice and uh, Arnold, then uh, Foden, Bellingham, and Saka, it has not been a threat to any to Serbia or even Denmark. So I think that if 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 you want to play uh, Bellingham, Saka, and Foden, play four three three with a CDM and two attacking midfielders. But uh, if he is it is a must, he must play with a four two three one. I think this is where sacrifice need need to be made and. Uh, an important player and uh, will get to the bench because if you decide to go the 4-2-3-1 uh, play rise with 
uh, with the uh, Kobe menu. Then play Eze or Gordon with Bellingham and Saka, or play uh, Eze or Gordon with Foden and Saka. Rest Bellingham, play Arkin up front, or do rest Foden and play um, uh, Bellingham at number 10, or you rest Saka. You decide to rest Saka, and then you, you play Gordon, um, Bellingham, and Foden with the Arkin up front. So Gary Southgate need to make it right. He needs to do the right thing against Slovenia because any mistake can uh, cost England a spot in the round of 16 of this year's Euro. And this is a mistake England fans doesn't want to happen because as it stand, England for fans will be singing, it is coming home. They've been singing this since 2018. The World Cup, they never came home. 2020, Euro 2020, it never came home. World Cup 2022, never came home. Euro, Euro 24. I think England has a squad, a strong squad compared to the last four tournaments and uh, it should be coming home because uh, uh, I'm, not I'm, I'm not impressed with the France uh, this year. Uh, Germany are trying, also Spain are trying, and Portugal are also there, but I think England, looking at their squad, I think they should be there threatening and um, being the favorite to win this year's Euro. So, Mr. Gary Socket, you need to change your first 11 and you need to make sacrifices for the team to qualify. Don't be afraid to make changes. One thing, one thing I realized with uh, Southgate, his substitution have not been uh, effective. You know, looking at uh, Portugal, they were playing with the uh, Zesia Republic and uh, they were drawing 1-1. One -one. The manager decided to bring in Pedro Neto and Francisco Conceal. Guess what happened? Pedro Neto assisted Conceal and Net the winner to make it 2 1 against Asia for Portugal. So, the changes that uh, Gareth Sukhde has made against uh, Serbia, the, the ones he made against Denmark, in fact, the ones he made against the, the Denmark are shocking and uh, were uncalled for. Uh, I think it's time you should not, to be honest with you, you should not sub in Gallagher. If you decide to play with the same, same lineup in the second half, bring in Menu, bring in Kopama. And bring in easy early enough if the game is not going the plan uh bring those three players kobe menu uh kopama especially kopama and also uh easy uh these players can change the game i'm very sure about it they can change the game and uh, looking at the assumption he made uh, by removing hurricane hurricane you should not you should not sub hurricane because hurricane is a player uh, that at uh, any moment any mistake that uh, an opponent makes he will capitalize and uh, score the goal as the one in the, again, in Denmark. Uh, the defender made a mistake. Harry, uh, Walker pounced in, wonderful cross, and had Harry Kane was there to send it back the net. So you see, you should not sub out Harry Kane if you need a goal. That's a mistake. That's a mistake that he did. Also, subbing off Saka, I think, uh, was also a mistake because Saka was uh, doing quite well. I think Gary has been unfair for to, to call Palmer because uh, call Palmer not to be playing, not to have a single minute in this Euro uh, so far is shocking because he had a great season for Chelsea. It was the it was the reason why Chelsea finished uh, number six. Yeah, if, but if, because I think he scored almost half of, half thirty percent of the goals. He was involved in the goals that Chelsea scored this season, and. Uh, if not in Haaland, he was winning, winning the Golden Boot. So for Kopama not to be playing, I think we need to ask him why is that? You know, I will, I would like to ask ask him face to face, uh, Gary. What is your reason not to play Kopama? Because he's been superior, brilliant with, for Chelsea. Why not? What's the reason? What's the reason for not playing Kopama? Um, it's been so unfair to him, and I think Kopama. Needs even even need, 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 need to start against Slovenia. If uh, if I was even given the chance, I I, I will start uh, Kopama and rest Phil Foden because uh, Phil Foden has played two games, but he's not been to his, to his best. Maybe because he's playing on the uh, on the left wing and he used to play the right wing. Uh, maybe that that's the cause. But uh, uh, 
I'd start Kopama at least to give him a chance, you know. Kopama and um, I would start Rice, Palmer, Billingham, Rice or Saka and uh, Eze. That's a 4-3-3. A one seed, one, one seed EM. Two attack midfielders, Palmer, uh, Billingham with Eze or Gordon, then Saka, then up front, Hurricane. Perfect. There you go. So, what do you think? Do you think England uh, are capable of winning the Euros? Because I think they are going to qualify. And do you think uh, Southgate needs to make, make a change or he should continue the same, same lineup he made against Denmark? and sabia all right guys that's it from us here uh today we have games as well we have spain playing it playing italy we have albania and croatia playing uh, because that's group uh, i think group b uh spain are playing albania italy are playing playing croatia spain have already qualified italy needs at least a point for them to qualify and they are playing croatia today so uh it's not yet over for italy uh, albania and croatia because uh they still uh, there's still a chance but i think italy has a 60 percent chance of, of qualifying than uh albania and croatia so spain versus albania i think spain will will, will, will win uh, italy versus croatia this is a very interesting game uh croatia a win for croatia will mean they've qualified if albania will lose against uh, spain or draw against spain so croatia does need, need, need three points for them, them to qualify they need, need they need, need a draw hoping that a spain could uh, win against italy uh, against Al Al albania that that is uh to be in that position which means they still can still qualify uh um, as as a third place team so there's still hope for croatia albania as well as italy yeah that's it from us guys uh thanks for your time thanks for watching thanks for being here and thanks for your support i appreciate that a lot always like share and subscribe because there are the videos coming in in a way the transfers we have many uh, news concerning transfers the top clubs in the world Manchester united Manchester city liverpool chelsea arsenal real madrid barcelona Juventus, Bayern munich uh transfers coming in uh the, 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 the deal that has already been confirmed there are transfer rumors and so on and so on we, we, we also have copa america going on so i'll be posting you keeping updated with the latest videos